Tonight, a federal investigation is underway into the possible dangers of spray-on sunscreen. It is a direct result of a freak accident in Massachusetts we told you about last weekend, in which a man claims the sunscreen he was wearing caught fire while he was standing in front of his grill. Iowa News reporter Susan Hogan joins us now live with the latest on this news alert. The FDA confirms it is investigating this man's claims that he was badly burned after applying spray-on sunscreen. I should warn you, the video you're about to see is graphic. It took seconds. All of a sudden, just lit up on fire everywhere. Brett Sigworth says he had just applied banana boat sprayable sunscreen while standing in front of his barbecue grill before his body was engulfed in flames. Sprayed on the spray-on sunscreen, then rubbed it on for a few seconds. And I walked over to my grill and uh, took one of the one of the holders to move some of the charcoal briquettes around, and all of a sudden it just went out my arm. It was this banana boat sport aerosol sunscreen that Brett says caught fire, not in the can, but all over his body. Just the way it burned, it went wherever the sunblock went, that's where it burned. Now the FDA says it is investigating Brett's claims. In a statement, the FDA says it is possible for sunscreen to be flammable once it's applied to the skin because some sunscreen products are alcohol-based. Banana boat released this statement. We will begin a prompt investigation as we continue just to deliver products of the highest quality to our consumers. There are warnings on the sunscreen bottle that say flammable, don't use near heat, flame, or while burning, but it says nothing about once it's applied. No warning that says this product's flammable when applied to your skin or for some period of time after being on your skin. Now, Banana Boat, it says it's unaware of any incidents like this happening before. I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.